Hello again. Let's talk a little more about auto layout and Xcode. In the uh, in the last example, I you know I positioned the button here on the right side in the upper corner, and uh, you know that's pretty good. And in the last few examples, you know we we had a fixed size for the elements, and we put them in various locations like the upper left and the upper right, you know, and you know, that works pretty good for a lot of things, but sometimes you might want to make an element that changes size. It becomes larger or smaller depending on where you place it. So, you know, for example, like when I'm looking at the screen here, the button's a good width, but maybe when I get to a wider screen, I actually want the button to be wider also. Okay, so uh, let's give that a try. And, I, you know, I didn't do it here, but maybe I'll, maybe I'll do it. Um, let me... Uh, delete these constraints here and uh, you know if you wanted to position this thing at the bottom here we could use um, we'll use this thing again you could you know set the constraints here to uh, you know distance to the to the left edge or leading edge and distance to the bottom and then set the width and height right so that would that would constrain the button to the bottom right corner and we could do this or the bottom left and we could do the same thing with the bottom right so let me undo that imagine this now what if I want to place the button at the bottom of the screen but I want the button to always take up the entire width of the screen okay and you can see now that I've taken the constraints off the preview doesn't show the button because it's down below the edge here because this is the top and so the screen is about this tall and it's wider though right in in landscape mode so the buttons down below the bottom and if I move it up like this now you'll see it come into view right so what I'm gonna do here is if I switch that now you'll see it and actually this is a three and a half inch screen and this is a you know four inch screen so now it's too high so what I want is I want the button to stick to the bottom but always take up the entire width okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the button choose and, and you can do this from the editor menu up here too um, I'm gonna do it on this menu though okay I'm gonna set the the left edge and the right edge to the distance to the edge of the super view okay and then I'm gonna set the bottom as a distance to the bottom and I'm not gonna set the width and height this time though okay okay so that works pretty good and notice this time not setting the width allows the constraint to set the width for us so sometimes we'll want to set the width and sometimes we'll want the constraint to set the width you'll notice the button here has a different height than it does here because our constraints don't include the height okay so um, you know I should go back in here and I should set the height as a constraint but not the width so you'll notice here when I flip the phone the button also takes up the entire width but it has the same leading edge trailing distance and the distance to the bottom is the same right so there you go so that's kind of a way to take up a different amount of area let's try another one just with that just for fun if I add another view here and this time I'll do it with a um, with just a, a plain UI view I'll add this here and imagine in this case maybe I want to create you know a box that fills the width and and the height of the screen here right you know in this upper region with a button at the bottom so you know so we can see this view it's hard to see the white on white I'll give this a different color here maybe I'll make it light gray and then I'll position it here and maybe I'll drag it out there like that and uh, maybe I'll make it a little bit shorter okay so now when I select this I'll I'll go to the to the, um, the pin menu here set the distance to the top distance to the leading the trailing edge and then that should be enough I think for that oh I got some some errors there right so or actually I got some constraints but then some of them are not working out um, so let's see um, what do we got here let's go check out our our errors here so so what do I have it says needs constraint okay and then I have expected a certain height so I probably need to set the height still because I didn't set the height 
Let's go check it. Oh yeah, let's set the height there. And now, oh, it looks like it's pretty good. There's no errors there, okay? So the if I set the leading and trailing edges, the, the element's gonna stretch to fill those constraints, right? And if I set the top edge, that's gonna set the top position, but then the height was still unset. So setting the height now positions the element here. Let's see what it looks like in the preview. Um, so that looks pretty good. Let's look at it in landscape. Oh, so now the height in landscape overlaps the button and that could be a problem. Okay, we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. So anyway, so there's another, another view on using constraints and auto layout.